Good morning and welcome to your Toy Daily News. In top news today, Representative Nancy Mace, a Republican from South Carolina who filed the federal marijuana legalization bill in Congress this week, said she personally used cannabis to treat depression after being sexually assaulted. She said, When I was 16, I was assaulted. I was given prescription medication that made the feelings I had of depression worse, and I stopped taking those prescription drugs and I turned to cannabis for a brief period of time in my life. I think this is pretty brave of her to come out after all the criticism from her home Republican Party in South Carolina, and it does show some of her motivation behind federal legalization of cannabis. Um, And as she pointed out in her comments last week, the whole point of federal legalization is that it solves a lot of banking issues, interstate commerce issues, um, enforcement issues, but it'd still be up to states to legalize or not. So just because it's federal legal, it could still be illegal in South Carolina. So it's not really anything um, against her home state Republican Party. But I do like to see that this is, you know, for her to come out with this, I feel like that is in response to that criticism, uh, to be like, here, here's my reason if you're going to come after me. So uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. And moving on to some more state right news here. South Dakota Legislature's Executive Board, led by the House Speaker and Senate President, unanimously approved a recommendation that marijuana legalization bill will be taken up in the 2022 session. So it does look like this is becoming inevitable in South Dakota, which is good news. Uh, Their governor has pushed back against the uh, recreational legalization bill that was passed last year. There are activists filing another initiative, getting the signatures put on the ballot again. And now both the House and Senate leaders have said they're going to put it as a legislative issue, as a bill, uh, up for uh, passing in the 2022 session. So it looks like one of those three avenues, because the original bill is still going to the South Dakota State Supreme Court, will get recreational legalization there eventually. In Washington, D.C., activists are proposing an amendment to a marijuana legalization bill being heard by the District Council on Friday that, if adopted, would allow small entrepreneurs to sell cannabis at farmers markets. That's a pretty cool idea. I don't know a lot of places where that's legal, and I'd like to see that as a trend more around the country and legal states, but I hope that it does pass in Washington, D.C. In New England, the High Intensity Drug Trafficking Area, which is a local law enforcement coalition, sent an alert about reports of apparently fentanyl-laced marijuana. And we have heard some more reports about this. I don't know if it's a scare tactic, I don't know what, but this is one of the risks of getting black market marijuana. Now there are some recreational legal states up in New England, but also there are tested, approved, highly quality controlled products like we have here at Utoya, with all the cannabinoid blends that give you the effects, the relief, the head change you're looking for, and you know 100% there's no fentanyl in it. So I would say stay away from the black market. This is scary stuff. It takes just the tiniest amount, like a fourth of a Tic Tac, look it up online, of fentanyl to kill you. So it is definitely something to be avoided. Uh, The DEA, the Drug Enforcement Administration, has issued a notice of rulemaking about telepharmacy. So it looks like they are going to change some rules. Some emergency rules for telepharmacy went into place with COVID and all the protocols. And it looks like they're going to be rolling back some of those and making some others permanent. So I'll keep you posted on that. And the House bill to deschedule marijuana and fund programs to repair drug war harms got two new co-sponsors for a total of 100. So that is moving forward. So even if federal legalization stalls, it looks like it's going to be descheduled. So its medical use will be recognized. It won't be a controlled substance in the same way as Schedule 1 uh, drugs are. Schedule 1 means there's no known medical use for that drug, which is ridiculous that marijuana is on there. I think we all know that. Um, so hopefully that bill moves forward soon as well. And then in some state news, Democratic gov- gubernatorial candidates, Democratic co- candidates for governors in the states of South Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Florida all tweeted support for marijuana legalization this week as it just continues the Democratic Party's campaign to push a single issue. Um, And I'm super for marijuana legalization, but I'm a little skeptical when they're only talking about this one thing, what they're going to do about everything else, Um, or if they're even going to do this because they're politicians making promises they don't really have to keep once they've got the job, as we've seen over and over again on both sides of the aisle. Um, But just wanted to point it out that they are hard charging on that tactic, and I think we're going to hear it more and more and more leading up to the 2022 election. Ohio's House Speaker said he doesn't think marijuana legalization legislation has enough support to pass, which is interesting because it has bipartisan support. So sometimes you see this come out. The same things happen in Pennsylvania. I'm not sure whether or not he's just trying to squash it or he got, you know, a stipend from a pharmaceutical company to come out and say this sort of thing. It's hard to say. Uh, But we will see in Ohio. It sounds like from everyone else that it does have enough support to pass. 
And moving on to some international news, Colombia's House of Representatives voted to shelve a marijuana legalization bill, so unfortunately that's not coming to pass yet. They'll look at it again in the future. But Colombia uh, legalizing marijuana would be a big hit to the cartels. I know it's mostly cocaine coming out of there, but it is a supplemental income to them that they use to fund their other operations. So this would be uh, pretty significant if Colombia had legal marijuana, but it looks like they're not doing that now. In Argentina, their um, agricultural committee approved a medical cannabis and hemp bill. So Argentina has been pretty prohibitionist, so this is good news for them. Both medical cannabis and industrial hemp, they have a ton of farmland down there that could be used for hemp. Um, so hopefully that moves forward, that's just in committee. An Israeli lawmaker said she would stop voting with the government in protest of health minister blocking her cannabis legislation. So that's interesting news. Um, Israel would be the only country in that region with legal marijuana if it comes out or comes to pass. But I do like to see that they're using some uh, tried and true political tactics here to force them to look at it, at least some lawmakers. So maybe that will happen. And then in Australia, a South Australian lawmaker has filed a local marijuana legislation bill and separately, a New South Wales legislature introduced a proposal to protect medical cannabis from drug driving charges, meaning you can't get uh, their equivalent of a DUI from being under the influence of medical cannabis because the only tests we have still in Australia is blood and urine, and there is no correlation to actual impairment at the time. So I hope that that bill goes through, but just in general, I like seeing that Australia is coming around a little bit, at least some of their lawmakers, because they are one of the most prohibitionist countries out there, just like the United Kingdom. And in Malaysia, their health ministry has opened clinical trials on medical cannabis. So that is moving forward, which is exciting news uh, in that Southeast Asian region, that it looks like Malaysia is going to go forward with medical cannabis, which, of course, eventually, hopefully will lead to recreational legalization. And lastly, here in some science and health news, a study has found that medical cannabis use was associated with clinical improvements in pain, function, and quality of life in reductions in prescription drug use. So 73% of people in this study either ceased or decreased opioid consumption, and 31% discontinued benzodiazepines. Uh, benzodiazepines are Xanax, Valium, drugs like that. So that's pretty great news. I think a lot of people anecdotally have said this, but the study's just supporting that. Cannabis can replace pain relievers, it can replace anti-anxiety medications, uh, hemp products can do the same, the cannabinoids can do the same, CBD can do the same for some people, or a combination thereof, find the right combination for you. Um, but it is cool to see that studies continue to come out to support this. All right, that is the news for today. Go to utoy.com, we've got awesome new products on there, we've got some really great new specials. Check out our new THCP carts. If you haven't tried that yet, it is strong, if that's what you're looking for, definitely try it. If you're a wholesaler, store owner, or distributor, go to wholesale.utoy.com, it's really easy to register. And if you're watching this on Facebook, like us. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe. If you are a new user who this popped up in your feed because YouTube is finally spreading our message a little bit more, please subscribe. Uh, you'll get info on all kinds of contests. You'll get to see our other shows, which have a ton of good information. We have a lot of giveaways these days. Um, so it will be worth your time to subscribe. And as we go up, once we get to 2,500, 5,000, et cetera, we'll have big giveaways every milestone. But right now there's a Thanksgiving giveaway, so search that. Toya Organics Thanksgiving, and you will find out about that awesome giveaway. Uh, and don't forget to check out our live stream. It is tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern on Utoya Organics YouTube channel. All right, have an excellent day. Thanks for joining.